Hey y'all, welcome back or welcome if this is your first time here. Today I have a messy house transformation. I have tons of extreme cleaning and laundry and it did take me three days to get all of this cleaning and laundry done. We are a family of six so I'll be knocking out my huge laundry routine. I also have a great organization product to share with you today as well. If you are new to my channel, I do lots of cleaning, laundry, organizing, and decorating. If you like that type of content, I would love to have you become a part of my YouTube family. I post new cleaning videos every week, so turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload. For all of my returning fam, thank you so much for always coming back each week to clean with me. But let's knock out this cleaning and laundry motivation. So right now I'm just sharing with you all the messy areas that I'll be cleaning and transforming. I have about four areas that needed to be clean. Of course, I'll be throwing some laundry in the mix. This video is pretty long, but it's jam packed with tons of motivation. So I really hope you guys enjoy. So I'll be starting off in the boys' messy room. I'll be changing the bedding, picking up the toys from the floors, vacuuming, changing the linens. I've been making Landon and Travis clean every morning before school and they've been doing a really great job with cleaning, but this day was just a messy day for them. You know, we all have those messy days, but I knock out my cleaners after the weekend. So this is usually the mess from the weekends. I don't like to clean on the weekends. I just enjoy my breaks and days off. To spend time with my family after i removed all of the sheets from the bed i just sprayed down the mattress and the bed with some disinfectant spray if you are already a part of the fam you know that i always keep a backup set of sheets for the boys so i could just go ahead and switch out the sheets and i don't have to wait on the washing machine and the dryer for fresh sheets it's already in the closet and ready to go i also keep a backup comforter as well for the boys. Now that the beds are all made, I'm just going to start picking up all of the toys from the floor area. Underneath the bed was not too messy. If you have watched like my older videos on my channel, you'll know that my boys will destroy this room. But like I said, I've been trying to make them stay on top of it. So underneath the bed was not too bad. Feel the loving, feel the rhythm, singing oh na na, oh na na. So before we get too far into today's video, today's video is a collab and I have a really good product to share with you guys. So stay tuned so you can get all of the great information. Trust me, I take the lead Cause I wanna ride with you Just give in to the fire Cause I'ma take you higher You're my only desire Yeah 
All right, you guys, this portion of the video is sponsored by a company by the name of Tally. Tally is a company that can be found on Amazon. Their Amazon store is truly amazing. The products on the Amazon store are based around home storage tools and different ways and solutions to save space around your home. Their Amazon store is pretty neat and I love it so much. I'm so glad they decided to send me some products so I can save space in my home. Y'all, they sent these products like right on time because one of my previous videos, I recently did a serious messy transformation on my guest room slash office slash Lauren's room. And y'all, I did complete it, but it was some things that I seriously needed some work on, such as my comforters that I just threw in the closet. I didn't have a solution for my blankets, my comforters, pillows, and so much more stuff around my home, and we will get into that. But anyways, Tally reached out to me, perfect timing, because we are getting ready to move, and these storage solutions will benefit us in the long run. The moving companies can be so careless about our personal items, our furniture, and everything else, so hopefully these storage items will really help us out and protect our belongings. Now let's get into what Tally sent me. Tally sent me three different storage bags, and I'll be demonstrating and how to use each one as well as sharing a ton of information okay so the first one that i will be talking about is the jumbo size cube vacuum storage bags the bottom is cube and widened one bag can store three king size quilts or duvets so with my comforters i was only able to store two comforters inside of the bag maybe because they were too big or whatnot but yeah i was only able to store two and here i'm just sharing with you guys what the bag looks like what the valve looks like and how wide the bag is i will not be doing all of the bags i will only be sharing with you guys one i do have a lot of comforters and whatnot but i will only be demonstrating one bag and that goes for all of the bags that i will be talking about in this video so all of the bags have a patent valve, so it has no cap design and it is super airtight. Each bag protects all of the stuff you put inside from moisture, bugs, dirt, and dust. The materials of the bags are premium thickened with PA and PE. The bags are high quality, odorless, non-toxic, and very much durable. After the compression, the bags save about 80% storage space. The bags can also be reused over and over again for a very long time. Tally bags also have color changeable zippers. When the bag opens, the color of the zipper is black and white. When the bag seals, the color turns into gray. So there are white clips inside of the bags, but I did not see them the first go around. That's why I'm using my fingers, but there is a clip that you are supposed to use that is supposed to glide across the zipper line. To compress the bag, I will be using my hands to press down on the bag. You are able to use a vacuum cleaner, but I just wanted to try it out both ways, actually three ways. You can press it down or you can just sit on top of it, which you will see me doing here shortly, y'all. And this was pretty tough. I actually fell off the bag, as you can see right here. But I wanted to just demonstrate all different techniques to press the bag. So I just wanted to share with you that this worked out so amazing. Look how tight the bag got. Y'all, I am just so fascinated by how much space I saved by doing this. What? Y'all, I'm sweating. That's a lot of work. A lot of work. Okay, so the next bag I'll be using is the flat vacuum storage bag. These come in five different sizes. The jumbo cube, the jumbo flat large flat and the medium flat and then it comes with a small flat so this bag is used to store clothes extra sheets pillows cushions quilts duvets blankets and so on and the same with the last bag after the compression you can save 80 percent storage space in this case i will be using this bag to store my throw pillows and pillows that are just laying around I was able to get four of the Euro size pillows inside of one bag and it made such a huge difference you guys these pillows were recently used downstairs but I feel like I didn't want them downstairs anymore so I brought them upstairs and they were just laying around for weeks and this bag was just 
perfect for them. This bag also has a color changeable zipper. When the bag opens, the color of the zipper is yellow and blue, but when the bag seals, the color turns into green. And I did use the white clips for this bag and it worked so much better than using your fingertips. And then I used the same method as I did the last bag. I just basically sat on it to compress it and then I went in with my hands to press down on it even more to get all the air out. Okay, so the next bag that I will be demonstrating is the hanging vacuum storage bag. This bag comes in a short size and a long size. The patent hanger can be rotated for 360 degrees and can hold up to 16 pounds. All right, so I'm in my closet. Um, it's not too bad in here. I went through my clothes the other day and it's hangers on the floor area, but it's still a lot of, it's still a lot of junk in here. That I would like to, you know, organize a little bit better. But um, last month, sometime, I went through my winter clothes and I actually stored them. I got them stored in like some bins right here. And it's okay, but I could be using the bins for something else. So these bags are perfect. This bag is a little bit different. Um, it has this hanger coming out of the top part. This is where the other hangers go the snap is on the side instead of the top of course but this is how long it is so here i'm just trying to remove my jackets from the bins and i'll be using those jackets for the um, hanging vacuum storage bag and i'll also be using that green jacket above So on those five rings, you can hang at least five clothes and all of the clothes you place inside the bag doesn't overlap totally. You can identify clearly what the clothes you place inside the bag from the outside through the transparent vacuum bag. And just like the other ones, this bag does have a color changeable zipper. When the bag opens, the color of the zipper is black and white. When the bag seals, the color turns into a gray color. So Lauren did end up waking up so she kept kind of like knocking my tripod so I had to bring it into the guest room which I did have a lot more space but I was so 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 just fascinated by this one out of all of the bags I would say this one was probably the coolest for me I don't know it was just so nice seeing the air get sucked out and for this bag I will be using my vacuum cleaner because I really wanted to see how that worked. This was my first time ever using any type of vacuum seal bags. And let's just say the vacuum cleaner works wonders and I'll probably just be doing the vacuum cleaner method from now on. Okay, you guys, I hope you got a good enough tutorial on how to use each bag, y'all. I'm tired from that, okay? I'm tired. That was a lot of work. I have a lot more bags to use, and I will definitely be using them before we move. I really appreciate Tally collabing with me on today's video because, y'all, those bags are really a lifesaver. I never really looked into those bags because I'm just so used to throwing the comforters in the closet or whatever but y'all I really saved a lot of space like I'm just thinking about imagining if I was to do that with everything in my house <sighs> y'all thank you Tally thank you so much Tally again but if you are interested in these bags these vacuum bags make sure you click the link in my description box definitely give this product a 10 out of 10 for real, um, I do give you guys my honest reviews, okay? I'm telling the truth. I'm not just making up stuff. Y'all, 10 out of 10. 
but everything is linked in my description box let's go ahead and get back to the cleaning and the laundry all right so next i just have to finish up around the dresser area i'm just going to push the dresses in i will not be going inside of the dresses and straightening up the clothes on this video but that will be on a future video i do have to get in here and organize a bit and declutter but then I'm just going to spray down everything with the disinfectant spray and then I will be going in with my vacuum cleaner. So I hope you guys enjoyed that messy room transformation and if you did make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I have many more transformations throughout this video but if you are enjoying the video please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section if you are cleaning with me or are you just watching for some motivation for later. So I did go ahead and start a couple of loads of laundry. So I'm going to do that right now. Remove the clothes from the dryer and then I'll be removing the clothes from the washing machine to the dryer. And to dry my clothes, I'll be using the Downy Expressions dryer sheets. I finally picked up some dryer balls, y'all. So I'll be using all of the dryer sheets up before I open them. Y'all, I have really missed my dryer balls. So as you can see on top of my dryer, it is a complete disaster. So I will be tackling that. Two, I need it to really clean that space because it is like really, really junky and messy. My last video was a massive laundry takeover so if you have not checked out that video make sure you do so I'll have it linked up above and I'll also have it linked in my description box along with a ton of other playlists so if you need more cleaning motivation and laundry motivation always check out my description box and if you aren't already go ahead and head over to my blog channel and subscribe to that channel as well we are still moving to Germany. I know I haven't done an update over on my vlog channel in a minute, but it's been a very slow process with us. We are still waiting on a few things, but as soon as we get those things, I will be updating you guys on that. All right, so as I fold, let's talk about laundry. If you've been here for a while, you would know I don't do laundry every day. That system just does not work for me. So I usually just knock out some laundry within one to two days, sometimes three days. I let it pile up and then I'll knock it out during the week with my new laundry organizers. It has been so helpful because when I notice a hamper overflowing, I'll just sort it in the hallway. So when it's time to throw a load in, it's already ready to go. I did pick up my laundry sorter from Target, but it's not in any of the footage for today's video. So I'll just post a picture on the screen to share with you guys what the sorter looks like. It is pretty small. And I really think I should have got two, but I think I've spent $30 for one. So yeah, I have to think about buying two. So since we don't have much storage space in our bathroom, I like to keep our towels all in this basket and then I'll store my hand towels on the shelf. Yeah, yeah, not gonna start over again. Too much went down between you and me. And I'm feeling pretty good right now. So I think I'm gonna let that go. All right, so now we are moving into the master bedroom. It is a complete disaster. So I'll be tackling all of the messy areas. As usual, um, I usually have a ton of mess on the nightstands as well as the TV stand, which is the dresser. And then I will be changing out my sheets. 
So I was nowhere near done with the bed, but Lauren pretty much took over. So I just went ahead and started cleaning up down on the floor area until she goes back downstairs or she goes and finds something else to do. But she is all over the place as usual. Find a place where I can breathe. Yeah. You show it all. Don't want anything to do with you. I did notice that my bed frame was a little dusty, so I'm just going to take care of that. And all I'm using to clean it is the Mrs. Myers rosemary scent with a rag. Lost for you, lost for you, lost for you, win for me. Lost for you, win for me. Yeah, lost for you, win for me. so my tv stand is always a catch-all area and i am doing so much better with keeping that area clear but this was just not one of those days it was so messy so that's what i'm doing right here i'm just trying to declutter that space
told you I could never let you go I'm not so sure you believe me But if I mean to show you I will never let you go No Cause you don't see the logic of things It's quite a lonely world that we're living in Oh baby you are Something special I'm sure Everything makes total sense When you're next to me Okay, so I'm almost done cleaning my bedroom. Now I'm just going to vacuum the rug and that will be it for the master bedroom. You're taking my hand, leading the way, staying the night. Looking at you, making your moves, there is no silence. I wish you'd never let go. so sweet but you're dynamite i just want to dance with you feeling that burn i'm not getting out yeah yeah baby you make me lose my mind baby you want to stay the night time goes fast i don't care i've known you long enough when we go we lose track of time you and i we can stay inside time goes fast i don't care i've known you long enough i know what i want I truly hope you guys are enjoying these messy house transformations and you are getting tons of cleaning motivation. Now let's finish some laundry. You feel the same. I'm gonna lose it out of control. Eh, eh, uh -huh. Looking so sweet, but you're dynamite. I just want to dance with you. Feeling that burn, I'm not getting out. Yeah, yeah. So I need to really start emptying out this trash can a lot more often because every time I get around to it, it's like overflowing. So I'm going to try to make myself empty out that trash can at least once every two weeks. So the laundry products that I'm using is the laundry sanitizer vinegar and then I'm using my Tide Simply Fresh and Clean. I have been using the Method laundry detergent but I really 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 miss my Tide so I'm using the Tide in this video. I think I am using the Method in this video too but I just wanted to bring that to you guys attention. Um, I did recently run out of the Method so I will be using some new laundry detergent but this Tide is all gone. I tried to Add in some more so I added in some water to the container and yeah but if you are interested in those glass containers I will have them linked in my description box they are from Ikea and they were $2.99 a piece which is very affordable and they are really neat and I love them I can't wait to add my labels on them I don't think I'm gonna add them here at this house I'll probably just do it all once I get to Germany I wanna get Go run away, get it out of your system Come back when you're older Go find a place where you can't be the victim And come back when you're older Go catch the storm within your broken bones And be wild, wild, wild Wild, 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 wild. 
So this is day two. Day two, I have some extreme laundry folding motivation for you guys. So let me know down in the comments if you have a few hampers to fold with me. But I will be giving you guys some folding motivation. The loads that I put in on day one, I'm just going to go ahead and finish them up. I will be throwing another load in the laundry as well. But day two is basically full of laundry motivation. Summer's and you feel that. Your beginning will colors fade, but it's okay. There is good in I just wanna hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about you day and night. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, you make me smile. You're the solution. If you are still here and watching thank you guys so much for always supporting my channel i know this video is really long but i think you guys enjoy long videos but let me know down in the comment section if you like quick cleaning or do you like the long extreme cleaning motivational videos and laundry also let me know down in the comment section what is your favorite type of videos from my channel do you guys enjoy the laundry motivation do you just enjoy cleaning motivation or do you like a mix of both?
my little helper is getting really good at doing laundry too you guys she is really trying to start the dryer she loads the washing machine she unloads the washing machine she throw in my dryer sheets miss lauren is on top of it so the weekend before the kids did go out of town so that's what i'm doing right here i'm just trying to unpack their suitcase it's clean clothes mixed with dirty clothes but i'm just going to remove all of the dirty clothes and throw them in the hamper All right, so while I'm in the laundry room, I needed to really clean off the top of the dryer. It is so much stuff on here. Cleaning products, laundry products, masks, lighters. It's just a hot mess over here. So I'm going to remove everything, put everything where it's supposed to be, and wipe it down. So I'm basically only going to leave out what I use every time for laundry day so the space isn't so cluttered and I will put it all inside of this gray bin. Now we have moved on to day three. Day three I have some extreme bathroom transformations. Y'all, these bathrooms were so messy the kids bathroom my bathroom is just a hot messy mess and the toilet area in the kids bathroom oh my goodness my oldest she is responsible for cleaning the toilet once a week not the toilet but the bathroom once a week and yeah it's a mess in here the toilet bowl cleaner is so disgusting everything is just disgusting in here so I'm just going to go ahead and clean up this complete disaster. I will also be cleaning my bathroom as well. I won't be cleaning the downstairs bathroom in this video. Because it was so filthy in here, I did go ahead and remove just about everything. The towels, the rugs, the shower curtain, everything needed to be deep cleaned. I also went in with some extremely strong chemicals to clean and sanitize the toilet area. And this combination works wonders. Sweeping is usually last on the list, but I just went ahead and swept up the floor because it was so much trash all over the place and I just didn't want to keep walking all over it. You say you'll be Now I'm just going to tackle the sink area while I let all of those products marinate in the toilet area and then I'm cleaning off my sink area with the 7th generation cleaner. Him. I'm not in love. I don't feel anything. 
All right, so now I'm just gonna go behind what I just did for a deeper cleaning because it was nasty in here. So I wanted to seriously, seriously, seriously deep clean this bathroom. And I'm using the Comet cleaner, the cleaner that I use in the toilet. So the Comet cleaner is a really good cleaner. I like to use it when I am deep cleaning and in my toilet bowl area because you know the toilet can get pretty filthy. But I do like to use this Comet cleaner for deep cleanings. Although it can be a little strong, I that's why I don't like to use it on a day-to-day -day basis just for deep cleanings because of the, the chemicals and the smell from the cleaner. But overall, it's a very good cleaner. You just have to really wipe it down after because it can leave like this chalky residue behind it. I'm just forgetting. So when cleaning the kids bathroom i really like to wipe all of the areas like outside of the toilet the walls the toilet um tissue holder i like to wipe everything behind the toilet behind there the walls the baseboards everything because my boys are horrible aimers so if you are a boy mom you already know the struggle but it can get pretty filthy around this toilet area So I do like to refill my toilet bowl holder with some pine saw or some fabuloso. This is disgusting. This is not all from just, you know, cleaning like that water is not from the toilet. That is fabuloso and you will see me bring it back in and refill it. But I did need to clean and sanitize the holder. I know you guys are probably like, why won't you just go and get the wand? The wand is so much easier and it's um cleaner but i really feel like this method is cheaper and i save more money by doing this all you have to do is just clean your hands after it's not that serious wipe it down disinfect it of course it's not going to kill 
will keep it like squeaky clean, you know, like bacteria free and all of that. But this method does work. I just refill it a couple of times or a few times a year with some Fabuloso to keep it smelling fresh and clean in that area. And yeah, it just works for me. I don't think I will ever buy the toilet one. Never say never, but I don't think I'll be buying it. So next I'm just going to go ahead and disinfect everything that is on this tray and then I'll be wiping down the tray as well. And then I will be done in the bathroom. I cannot wait to share the before and after so you guys can see the transformation. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you are enjoying the transformations. So the bath mats and the towels and the shower curtain were still in the washer so they are not complete so that's why you don't see them hanging up or that's why you don't see them back in the bathroom but the bathroom is all nice and clean i hope you guys enjoyed this transformation out of all of the transformations in this video i feel like this was probably the best one Next, we are moving on to my bathroom. I really don't have much to do in here. I just have to clean the countertops, the floor area, the toilet, you know, the normal areas in the bathroom. And that's about it. It's just messy in here. And my bathroom tends to get like that when um, I'm just being super lazy all the time. But it's really not that bad. And then I will be also... I just wanted to talk about my friend Ebony's candle line, y'all. When I tell y'all I have never smelled candles this amazing, oh my goodness. Okay, all of that will be in my description box too. If you guys want to sign up for her waiting list, she does not launch until the fall. But you guys, you have to get these candles. She also has room sprays, wax melts, and everything the scent that i am using in my bathroom is the scent blessings and uh, y'all when i tell y'all these candles smell so good oh my god they smell really good 
now to clean my bathroom I'm just going to use the clean free cleaner um, I'm basically I'm basically a product junkie so you will see me use a lot of products especially if you are a loyal I always use a lot of product different products some products I stick to my word and I don't change up on but I do use a lot of different products I really would like to go to a all toxic free no chemical products and that's it I think I want to try to do that once I get to Germany but I need to use up all of these products so that's why you see me swap them out a lot try to not I'm really gonna try to not buy any new products because we are moving but we will see So just like the kids bathroom I'm just going to do the same thing as I did with the other toilet brush holder I'm just going to switch out the um, cleaner that was in there as you can see our bathroom wasn't as bad as the kids bathroom but yeah I'm just going to get that all taken care of
baby, I like you. My baby, I die for you. See you, you know, you know, I see you. My baby, you know, you know, I ride with you. Uh. My baby, I don't cover that I die for you. Uh. I pray to the Lord. I rise to the Lord. Gonna greet the Lord. I pray to the Lord. For the mother Jambele. Everything been safe again, ma. Uh. Everything for your Jambele. Oh, Jambele. Oh, oh, yeah. You are not a friend of me. No. All right, y'all. We are nearing the end. I'm just going to add all of my sink decor back inside of my bathroom and then light my candle look how pretty she looks over there y'all but i'm all done cleaning i really hope you guys enjoyed all of my messy house transformations i hope this video gave you a ton of cleaning and laundry motivation if you're new make sure you hit that red subscribe button like my video and do not forget to check out all of the products i mentioned in the description box the tally company make sure you guys check out that because you guys those organization storage solutions changed my life okay i know you guys always talked about it but they really changed my life so make sure you check out that brand and all of their storage solutions will be linked in my amazon store as well but y'all I have talked just about the entire video. I'm tired of talking, but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you all back on my next one. Bye. You are not a friend of me. No. Baby, you mean more to me, more to me. Keep us safe. Baby, you're keeping us safe. Not a friend of me, no. Baby, you mean more to me, more to me. You are not a friend of me, no. Baby, you mean more to me, more to me. You are not a friend of me.